Hey everyone, and welcome to another Civilization 6 game. So, it's been a while since our last game, and uh, I figured it's time for another one. This will be a bit of a different setup than usual. I'll be using one of the new map scripts from Alternate Cartography mod, which I highly recommend if you're not familiar with it. It has some really good map scripts. And this one is a very interesting map type, where you have a whole bunch of areas surrounded by mountains, with an inland sea in the middle, and the Bermuda Triangle in the middle of that inland sea. So, you basically want to get navigation as soon as possible to be able to cross ocean tiles, and you don't really have to worry about the neighbors early on. It's just a completely different map from anything I ever played. And I figured Kupe will be very interesting here, because he's the only leader who can cross ocean tiles right from the start of the game. Which means we will be able to settle other areas. It's just going to be random where we will go through the Bermuda Triangle. You'll see, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> and I enabled Heroes and Legends mode because they're always fun to play with. Other game modes are disabled. We're playing on data as usual. Standard map size. And uh, here's the seed, in case you decide to play with this exact same map. So let's get started. And now you are cool. All right, here we are. I'm looking forward to this. It should be quite interesting. Yeah, there's the Bermuda Triangle. I will not be entering that because I don't want to separate my settler from my warrior. I mean, I could just attach them to one another. But we don't want to settle near some AI. Hopefully there isn't going to be one over here. We want to have this area for ourselves. Hopefully that's going to be the case. But don't worry, we'll send other settlers through there soon enough. Now, let's find a good spot here. This doesn't look that great, as far as I'm concerned. But at the same time, I don't want to wait too long. We could settle on that plains hill. I wouldn't mind a river somewhere around here. Several oh, we got a natural wonder, okay. Teeth. Now that's a nice one, it doubles the terrain yields of all adjacent tiles. But how many tiles are adjacent to it? Yeah, quite a few. This is going to be a great spot. This is a no-brainer right now. We'll probably settle right here on the forest. Now I could settle on plains hill, but I don't want to take this tile away from the city. Because if this is the city center, we will not double the yields, and we will not be able to improve it. So I'd rather settle two tiles away from the wonder itself, not right next to it. It's just going to be better for our total yields that way. Shame there's no river, but I can't really complain. <laughs> okay, so let's just settle right here. This spot would be alright, though. I would have the marble in range if we settle over here. But I will also delay this by one turn. However, we'll save the forest, which as Kupe can be quite important. So, okay, let's just delay this by one turn. Or two turns. And we'll settle right here. Very nice. And we immediately got a 2 for 6 production tile to work. <laughs> this feels like it's a little bit rigged in my favor. But hey, it's going to be a fun game, all right? I'm looking forward to this. Now, I will still get a scout because I can send him through the Bermuda Triangle to make contact with some other AIs. I think that's going to be our priority early on, make contact with some other AIs so that we can trade with them. And also look for goodie huts and such, obviously. Okay, so we do want the wheat to get the boost. I'll have to wait for the gold first. Let's grab the goodie hut. We got a builder unit. Okay. Well then, that gives me two builders. And I can't actually use them just yet. That's fine. Okay, scout. Let's send the scout through the Bermuda Triangle. And our warrior can check out this general area. I think that will work out a little bit better. 
Right, we got two builders, so we certainly don't need a third one. We don't want a settler. I shouldn't need a slinger too much. It might still be a good idea to get one just in case. We got all this production, so let's get a slinger just in case some barbarian comes spawns close to us. Here's another goodie hut. And we got one stone in range. It is not wisdom. Do we have any horses? Uh, not in range. This one is almost in range, but not quite. I normally don't scout with the builders, by the way. I'm just making an exception here. Because I think it's fine if we do it. So, research. Let's grab astrology. We can probably get a religion pretty damn easily. Now that he's busted. Especially with all this production. So yeah, I think we will get a religion. I could actually have the holy site up here. Which is not the worst idea ever. As in, right here. That is not a bad idea. With that said, I'm going to need some gold to actually buy the tiles. We'll see how that's going to work out. Alright, so let's get the god king. And the discipline, just in case we get some barbarians. We will get some barbarians sooner or later. It's going to happen. Alright, there's the slinger. Now we can get the settler. It's fine. We got 40 gold. Nice. I actually needed the gold. Now we can buy the wheat. And let's just move back here. We want the wheat and the farm for the irrigation boost, as usual. Okay, here's a barbarian camp. I could get rid of that. Oh, and the Inca. Okay, so they share the same area with us. Interesting. It might be a good idea to wipe them out. They might be a little bit annoying on this map with the tunnels. I was strongly considering playing the Inca instead of Kupe, but in the end I decided to play Kupe because he can cross ocean tiles right from the start of the game. Which is going to be a huge factor on this map. But yeah, I might want to wipe out the Inca here, we shall see. I still wouldn't mind getting rid of this barbarian camp, if only to get the boost. Let's just disembark here. It's not like we're at war with him, so it's fine. And maybe we can kill a barbarian or two. Right, let's grab the farm to get the irrigation boost. We still want to get the religion, mind you. Yeah, okay, let's try to kill this spearman. Just need to be careful, because I don't want to lose my warrior. Here's another barbarian camp. That is potentially a good thing, because we'll be able to get archery boost. So hold on, we have two sources of horses, and they are both just one tile too far away from my city. They are both four tiles away. So I can't get either of them. That's a bit of a troll. That is definitely a bit of a troll, but alright. I guess I can live with it. Still slightly annoying, not gonna lie. Alright, let's take a look. See if there's any AI over here. Two horses. Now, unfortunately, it's completely random where the Bermuda Triangle is going to move you. It moves you to a random ocean tile on the other side of the map. So the only part that's not random is that it will be on the other side of the map. It can't move you to somewhere nearby. Uh, okay, let's move away from that scout, shall we? I might want to go and kill him, but I also want to get rid of this barbarian camp. Yeah, I think it will be fine. It will be fine. We did get one builder for free, so I think it's fine if we get slightly suboptimal tiles. Uh, let's fortify over here, make them attack us. Maybe the spearman will basically kill himself. Yeah, there we go. So I could kill the spearman and destroy the barbarian camp, but I will likely lose my warrior as a result. It might still be worth it. I could also stay fortified for one more turn. Or for several more turns. But I have a feeling that 
if I want to destroy this barbarian camp myself, I will basically have to sacrifice the warrior. I think it's worth it. So let's do that. We got a military tradition. It's just a warrior. It's not that big of a deal. We'll get another one. Okay, yep. I will probably need more units here, after all. Let's just delay that settler a tiny little bit. I'm going to need more than just a single slinger. That's for sure. Yep, indeed. Okay, I mean, this was worth it, I think. We got a boost out of it. Okay, well... Let's kill that spearman. I don't want archery boost. And hopefully we'll get early archery. How much to buy more tiles? So, okay, I could grab this forested hill. If I want a religion, I should probably buy the mountain itself and then the tile on the other side of it. But I will need more gold. Still, this is a better spot because the tundra is otherwise not that useful. I could in theory build the holy side right here on the uh, hill, but that would be a waste of an otherwise really nice tile. So okay, let's just buy Torres del Paine directly, and then we'll need 80 gold to buy the tile on the other side of it. Hopefully we'll get some gold from a goodie hut like this one. Would be nice to get gold out of this. I just need 50 gold. Even less than that. Okay, hit him one more time. We got the promotion, nice. And the warrior will be ready in two turns. Let's go grab that goodie hut. Okay, he got a horseman. That's not great. That's not great. I'm going to need that warrior. A horseman this early on can be a bit annoying. We got the bronze working boss. I guess that's fine. Could have been worse. I would have preferred gold, but I can live with it. Alright, I can kill the spearman. I will likely take some damage from the horseman. But hopefully we'll survive. This will also give us archery boost. Which I need. We should be fine, but that horseman is bad news. I can always... Oh yeah, okay, okay, bro, okay. I was gonna say, I can uh, run away by embarking. And they want to be able to follow me. This is going to be a bit of a problem. We got three horsemen to deal with. Let's get the archery. And then get an archer. That will make it easier to deal with them. Yeah, so I can hit him. It is a little bit risky. But I think I need the damage. Let's hit him with the slinger and attack him with the warrior. See though, this is exactly why I picked up discipline. Even though we didn't have any barbarians at the time. They were going to show up. Okay, let's just send the settler through the Bermuda Triangle. To settle another area. Because I will not be able to send units for a pretty long time to my other city due to the fact that the destination is completely random, which means that city will have to be self-sufficient with defenses and things like that. So that means I want to get started on developing that city and growing that city early on, so that it will be able to defend itself if it has to. That's the idea. Okay, well, let's grab another slinger here, and then we can promote him to an archer. But yeah, we got three horsemen coming in. That's going to be problematic. Now I can embark, and they won't be able to follow me. And we probably want to back up a little bit. I might have to just let them pillage this tile. I want to be on a hill, and I want to be directly next to my city center, so that I can run away and hide inside my city if I have to, with the warrior. Hopefully we can still get the religion while fighting these guys. I am going to need 80 gold, 90 gold. But we'll get there in a few turns. So there's the slinger. Now we want to fortify. I can move here. Okay, let's go here and then leave the city with the slinger. 
This way, he won't be able to attack my slinger with more than one single horseman. That's the idea. Yep, sounds good. How long until the city grows on its own? Two more turns. Then we can get a mine right here. That is going to be an amazing tile to work. Now, I could get yet another unit. Let's grab a warrior to have more than just a single melee unit. Now, one thing I could also do is just start a city somewhere over here. Now, the Inca will not be able to embark just yet, but they will likely get that ability pretty soon. Yeah, this can be our third city. I want our second city to be somewhere other than here. With all this production, Cranking out settlers shouldn't be a huge problem. Uh, one more turn in craftsmanship. Uh, two more turns. Well, one more after this. Okay, right. Let's be careful here. I don't want to lose these. It might be best to embark and move the warrior into the capital. The only problem is that they might steal one of my builders. If they get too close, I can only hide one builder inside my capital. So that might be slightly problematic. Okay, where are we now? Oh, over here. Okay. Wait, does it lead to the same exact tile every time, actually? No, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be random. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be random. But okay, I mean, this is fine. That's a lot of horses. We got incense, we got the wheat. So we can settle maybe right here on that plains hill. I could also settle maybe like over here. Okay, this is not a bad idea. This will give us fresh water and it is also a plains hill. Yeah, I think that might be all right. Okay, yeah, this is going to be fine. All right. Well then, I might want to move away from him here. I can hit him with my warrior, like so. We can probably disembark with one of the slingers on this side of the city. Yeah, let's move away one tile. We don't want him to capture our builder. Definitely not. Let's take a look. I don't think there's any AI in this area, which is good. Now, I don't have to settle here. I can still send my settler elsewhere. But this is a good enough spot. It will be worth a fair bit of money. Because we'll be able to just sell the horses. Oh yeah, I should have switched from craftsmanship to something else. Switched to foreign trade. Yep, got that done in time. All right, we can kill the barbarian horseman. Yeah, now unfortunately, because I have two warriors inside my city, I cannot attack the horsemen directly. I have to leave with one of them and then attack the horseman. And he's also coming with a horse archer. Okay, okay, this is going to be a bit obnoxious. Just a little bit. Also, we got the wrong tile. Yeah, the natural expansion got a different tile, not the one I wanted. All right, we can get started on the holy site on the next turn. Meanwhile, let's just start another slinger. I'll need three archers eventually for one of the boss. Okay, barbarian scout. Okay then, hopefully that won't be a big problem. But we'll find out, won't we? Yes, we will. Okay, this is fine. I will have to kill that horse archer. Obviously. Let's attack him with the warrior inside the city. Then I can attack him with the other warrior. And then hopefully we'll kill him on the next turn. Now we can buy the tundra tile. That's 90 gold. And let's get started on the holy side. That's going to be a plus five right away. There you go, very nice. How long until more border growth? A lot. Well then, the builder will have to chill, at least for now. 
once we get all these horses, hopefully we'll be able to sell some of them. At least that's the idea. So there's the city. Let's grab a builder right away. It will take some time to grow this city to a reasonable size. Alright, there's the promotion, so battle cry. Now I can kill the horse archer. I shouldn't lose the warrior after, because these two horsemen are almost dead. So we should be safe. We should definitely be safe. Now, we don't want this scout to discover our city. Let's just guard this choke point over here. Because I will definitely not be able to defend this just yet. I'm just going to guard this choke point. For now. Alright, let's follow this guy. We are about to get archery. So I might get one archer once I'm able to afford it. But we'll want the gold to purchase some tiles around the wonder. We also want to get rid of that actual barbarian camp, obviously. Hey! Okay, he almost killed my warrior. One friggin' health. One friggin' health. He basically killed both of his swordsmen, uh, both of his horsemen. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of funny. Now let's get that horse archer, shall we? And another horseman is coming. And now we have other barbarians from the northeast. Yeah, okay, this is getting a bit annoying. This is getting a little bit annoying. Next up, mining. We obviously need mining. I need 60 gold to get my archer. Would be nice to find some gold. Would be nice to get some gold for the strength barbarian camp. But yeah, I don't think I can do it as quickly as I would like. So I don't want to lose my slinger here. He should be fine. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Okay, this is good. I need to watch out for our builders. Let's just embark with one of them. Yep, and I cannot finish my holy side because he's standing on top of that tile. That's even more annoying. Come on, man. I'm seriously getting troll right now. Get out of here. There's the promotion, nice. Yes, continue that holy side, please. Pick up the promotion, volley. Maybe swap these guys around. Yep. That's good. I could try to send the builder through the Bermuda Triangle. That is... a little bit risky, I guess. But okay, I suppose we can do it. I suppose we can do it. Let's try to kill this scout. Shouldn't be a problem with discipline and such. Oh, yep, he did capture... Yeah, this is fine, though. I think it's fine, at least. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Hey, you there. What do you think you're doing? Uh, let's embark with the warrior here. Too many barbarians, man. We will send the worker through the Bermuda Trunk. I don't think we'll get a workable one anywhere. That seems very unlikely. But it's a lot of science if you can get a workable one. Here's the holy side, nice. Just don't get it pillaged. Uh, follow that warrior, thank you. And there's another one coming. Okay, seriously? Now I'm a little bit annoyed, not gonna lie. I'm actually a little bit annoyed now, but okay. I suppose we did get one builder for free, so I can't complain too much. Grab the shrine. Okay, now, see? So this was pure luck. This was actually pure luck that I ended up basically on the same ocean tile. I remembered correctly, it is in fact random. It is in fact random. I can try to enter it a bunch of times until I end up over here. So I might do that, because I wouldn't mind getting an early builder here, without having to wait 10 turns. We can try to do that. Surely we'll end up here eventually. Hopefully. The odds should actually be decent. 
Okay, well, I still can't get the archer, ironically, because I just don't have the money. I just don't have the money. Here, attack this fella. Uh, disembark. And fortify. So enter it again. Nope, didn't get it. Oh, we're back home. We're actually back home. <laughs> okay, okay. This might take a bunch of attempts. Okay, choose Pantheon. What do we want for the Pantheon? Good question. We don't have Dance of the Aurora available anymore. Somebody picked it up already. Not sure if I would have picked it up, but yeah, it's not available anymore. So God of the Sea is not really worth it, because we don't have enough sea-based resources in the area or on the coast that I'm familiar with so far. There are some, but I didn't settle close to them. It might still be good in the long run, but it's a little bit risky because it won't really give me any immediate benefit. Other than that, I guess we could just pick up, where was it? Fertility rights. You can't really go wrong with fertility rights. Yeah, let's just grab fertility rights. I think that's fine. More growth and another builder for free. Works for me. Now, let's see. Let's not get Arionis killed here. I might have to back up. I think I have to back up. Yeah, I'm going to get killed if I don't back up. So let's do something like this. I'll have to give up that builder for now. At least we can repair our other tile. Now, unfortunately, they might pillage my holy site, which is going to be really annoying. But at least we finished it. Still, these barbarians are really getting on my nerves. They are ruining my strategy. He did pillage it. And it's not like I can kill him that fast. I can't. Here, we can get one archer. Probably on the unit that's closer to full health right now. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, don't kill my warrior, bro. I kind of need him. Thank you. Hey, whoops. Okay, I was too focused on something else. That's not what I should have done. Although, we might actually want to harvest this. Because I'll need some space for districts. And I'll probably need them over here. Yeah, I might actually have to harvest this, but not yet. Bronze working next to reveal Aaron. Did we go where we wanted? Yes, we did. Nice. Now I can improve the horses. Hopefully. I just have to buy them first. Hey, where do you think you're going? Get back here. Okay, we survived. That's good. Can I kill him right now? Not really. Okay, not really. I can kill him with my warrior. And then we really need to heal up. We really need to heal up afterwards. Three turns until we claim this tile. I want a mine over here. For obvious reasons. Repair that holy site. Go catch the scout. And heal our slingers. We're about to finish foreign trade. Okay, 27 turns. Yeah, that's maybe a bit too much. I do want to get the horses here. Because hopefully we'll be able to sell them. Every nation There's foreign trade. Right, yeah, let's buy the horses. And improve them right away. That also gives us horseback riding boost. We will boost craftsmanship soon enough. Let's get started on early empire. Yep. We will boss that pretty soon as well. We don't need the God King anymore. We can pick up something else instead, like urban planning. I am keeping discipline. Clearly, we're still fighting barbarians. So I'll get that shrine done. Not seeing the barbarian scout. 
I might actually pass on the archer, unless I really, really need him. But I think we'll be fine without one for now. I wanted to save the gold to buy tiles with. Okay, hopefully we'll get this one this time. We should. According to the preview, we should. Alright, let's just grab this wheat to get the better yields. Another builder is coming anyway. Okay, there we go. Nice. Very nice. That gives us craftsmanship. I think we have enough units for now. I'm keeping discipline. And I'm keeping urban planning, I think. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting yet another builder right now. Other than this one. But this one is almost done. So, it's all good. Let's keep urban planning. Heal up the scout. And I might want to get another scout to send him to make contact with other AIs. I'm still a little bit worried about this barbarian scout we saw earlier. So I'd rather keep this choke point blocked. We don't want them to discover our city too early. Okay, repair this, obviously. Okay, so now we can grab a quick scout. That's just one single turn. And we probably want to find... Yeah, well, first we want to destroy this barbarian camp. And I'll also have to make a decision whether we want to wipe out Pachakuti early or not. Because that will affect my strategy. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I might, but I'll need a decent military to do it. With that said, we could attack his capital directly. I can't see his actual capital right now, but... There's not that much space around this inland sea. So if his capital is not directly coastal, it's going to be pretty damn close to coastal. Because that's just how it works on this map. Anyway... A trader isn't going to do much for me just yet. I mean, I could I still kind of use him, I guess. I guess I could. Okay, let's get the trader, because we could definitely use the money. How much to buy the other horse? Can we sell horses to him? Let's find out. Tell me you're buying horses. Actually, I can use quick deals. Yep, he's buying horses. Nice. Very nice. Excellent. Can we buy this one? Yes, we can. Even better. Even better, because the yields are nice, too. Grab the monument. Okay, grab that right away. Nice. That's going to be a pretty decent city, all things considered. So, let's maybe get rid of this barbarian camp real quick. Now I can get an archer. Now we have a better source of gold in form of selling horses. Which means we can afford to have at least one archer. It will be good to have one for defense. Now, since we're Koopa, I don't think I want to remove uh, forests. We want to keep the forest for the future. So we're keeping this one. And we enter the classical era. I'm also interested. All right, where's Aaron? Do we have Aaron? Not over here, at least. Do we know of any? Yeah, we do. Okay. Well then, this is not too bad. We can settle both pretty easily. There's a lot of Tundra over here, but I guess this will be worth it, if only for the Aaron. Free inquiry. And for the next research. Oh yeah, pottery. We still need that. We can grab a military tradition. Actually, state workforce first. And uh, so I usually pick up Magnus. I think I'll still get Magnus. And then we can harvest the bonus resources. And also, we might still want Magnus for provision. Yeah, I'm getting Magnus. I just like starting with Magnus a bit too much. Now, let's get rid of that barbarian camp already. Before they spawn another barbarian. And we want to find the one to the east. Because clearly there is one to the east. And we probably want to get the marble. 
to get some amenities. Hopefully they won't spawn any Yojit here. No, they didn't. Nice. 30 gold and plus 3 era score. Get the trader out. Here you go. That gives us currency boost and more money. Now we could grab another settler. That's what I'm thinking. Do I need holy side prayers? Probably. I probably do. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. I absolutely do. Maybe twice, but definitely at least once. Because we want that religion. We definitely want the religion. The builder has two builds. So, well, first let's get the marble. And then we'll see. And let's go make contact with other AIs, hopefully. And we're here again. Okay, there we go. New area. Hopefully there's somebody we can meet over there. Uh, let's grab the incense, but I need irrigation first. So after pottery. Kill that horse archer. Where is the barbarian camp? It has to be somewhere to the northeast. How much to buy that marble? 100 gold. Okay, we can afford it. Hopefully. Are you buying? Yep, you're buying. Uh, that's not the best deal I've ever seen in my life. But okay, I guess it's better than nothing. I'll accept it. It's better than nothing. Now we can buy the marble. On the next turn. And wait for irrigation. So there's still a barbarian camp somewhere around here. Hopefully it's far enough from my city so that they won't discover my city. Because I certainly don't want them spawning a raid here. I would not be able to defend that city very well. We need to make contact with another AI, not just the Inca. Hopefully there's one over here. Yep, another barbarian scout coming. Well... I think it's time for that archer. I think there are two more barbarian camps around here, not just one. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, first let's get the marble. That also gives us masonry boost. Now I need more gold again. He's still buying. We need 60 gold to get one archer. Let's grab a masonry. Is there an AI over here? So far, that's a no. I need more people to buy my stuff. It looks like he moved away from us. Yeah, there's definitely a different barbarian camp up here and down here. That's what I'm thinking. This is a lot of barbarians. Yeah, this is a lot of barbarians. Maybe too many. Maybe too many. I definitely need that archer right now. Without a doubt. Do we need holy side prayers again? Two out of five religions. Hopefully not. Well, it would be safer to grab one. No, we should be alright. We'll get 19 points. We're fine, I think. I could get a hero. Not the hero I want right now, not gonna lie. Let's just grab the granary to make the city grow faster. And go look for more AIs. Here's a city-state, nice. The first city-state we made contact with. So far. Carry on then. Okay, our warriors survived. It is equally important to have a happy... I don't want them to pillage my holy site. We are so close to getting a religion. We are so close. I think I will actually need holy side prayers one more time. I'm going to need it one more time. If they pillage my holy side, I'll be mad. I will actually be mad if they do that. Which they might. There's a decent chance they will actually pillage it. I can't afford to miss out on a religion. There's no way I'm going to miss out on a religion. There's no way. There's actually no way. 
Okay, so now we can pick up provision. There you go. Well then. Yeah, this is actually becoming a little bit problematic. It's actually becoming problematic. Come on now. Don't pillage my district. He probably will on the next turn. But maybe we can make him attack us. Yeah, I might lose the slinger over here. Hopefully not, but there's a chance I'll lose him. So, okay, what I'm going to do here is leave my wounded warrior right here. Because that might make the barbarian warrior attack me and kill me. And I will sacrifice the warrior that way. But he will waste a turn and he will leave the tile with the holy side. Hopefully that's what's going to happen. That's what I need to happen. That's what I actually need to happen. I can't afford to lose that holy side right now. There's no way. We need it. I might actually miss out on a religion if they pillage it right now. Uh, yes, but I'd rather wait for my turn to make that deal. Don't shoot there. Okay, he didn't pillage it. That's good. So I sacrificed the warrior, but it was probably worth it. Now I can actually fortify on top of the holy side. And unfortunately, we lost the slinger. But oh well. I'll leave. Uh, let's back up here. We're about to finish holy side prayers. Away from the warrior. We will get to the religion. At least I think so. Another city-state, nice. Maybe we can boast political philosophy. Maybe. Okay, defending the holy side right now. There, we got the great prophet, nice. Now we will get the religion for sure. 100% guaranteed. Can this stupid warrior just leave? Come on, man. Funny thing is, I might actually have to wait here. Because I have to get my prophet to the actual holy side. And he can't really do that right now. Let's get that archer. Move away from the warrior. I might need the scout to do some fighting. Now, technically, I don't have to defend the holy side anymore. I would still prefer to not have it pillaged. But now that we got the prophet, we cannot possibly lose the religion. So we secure the religion, basically. Man, how many barbarians are actually coming? Yes. Way too many is the answer. Kill that warrior with our scout. Let's get another unit here, shall we? A spearman wouldn't hurt. Let's actually grab a spearman. Now. Uh, right, I can't harvest this just yet. Well then, I'm just glad we got the religion, but it will have to wait just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, Canada. That's fine. Do you want to buy horses? I got some. That's a nice price. Okay, good enough. Enjoy the horses. So that's two AIs. Man, this is way too many barbarians. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, at least they did not pillage the holy side. They are following my warrior. This should be a little bit easier now that we got the archer. Promotion. So let's grab a ranger, actually. Uh, go over here. Over here and fortify. And for our research, we need irrigation to improve the incense. And once we get the spearmen, we'll want to get started on more settlers. I think it's safe to say I probably want to be declaring a very early war on Pachakuti. I might still go after him, but obviously not yet. I need to handle all these barbarians. They are seriously getting on my nerves. <laughs> and I need to actually, like, physically start my religion. And in order to do that, I have to get to the friggin' holy site. 
Okay, we will get the Spearman on the next turn. This should be fine. However, I think that's actually going to be the end of this first episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this setup interesting and enjoyed the first episode. Leave a like if you did. Uh, that really helps a lot, especially on the first video in a series. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.